In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the default lighting in Blender for material preview in your final renders. Let's say you set up your scene the way that you want it with different elements, and you go down to material preview by hitting Z and then dragging down. So Z, material preview. Now, you can see right away, I've added a nice shiny metal material to this monkey head here. And I've got some reasonably nice built-in lighting, shadows, and reflections. Blender actually ships with eight different such environments. So the default is this forest option, but I could also choose studio lighting or city lighting. In my case, I'm going to stick with the forest. And if I wanted to actually use this in my final render, that's pretty easy to do. All I have to do is come down here and I'm going to drag open a new window. I'm going to shift to a shader editor. And then instead of object, I'll click this drop down and choose world. Then once I've done that, I'm going to make sure that I have the Node Wrangler add-on installed. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and make sure there's a check mark beside Node Wrangler, which you can just search for. Once that's done, grab this background node and hit Control T. That will bring up these three nodes. From here, we're going to hit Open on the environment texture, and then navigate to wherever you installed Blender. For me, that's Program Files, Blender Foundation, Blender 2.82, 2.82 again, data files, studio lights, world, and now you can see I have any of these eight lighting environments available for my final render. I'm going to go with the default forest. If I hit Z now and drag up, you can see now in my rendered view, I actually have that same lighting and I have the forest background. If I want the lighting and not the background, no problem. Come to the render properties tab for film, click transparent. And now if I were to render the scene just like this, there's my monkey head with all of the nice lighting, reflections, shadows, and I didn't have to do any specific light positioning. I just used the material preview lighting. I can use any of the ones that I want. So if I want a studio for my final render, absolutely no problem. There's my studio lighting. If I want my city lighting, but I'm not happy with the yellow, then all I have to do is I can grab these nodes right here, not the background, just these, drag them over and hit shift A, color, and add in hue saturation value. Stick that right between here and then drag the saturation down. Now you can see the yellow tint from the lighting, gone. Or if I'm happy with the yellow, but I don't want it to be yellow, I'd prefer it to be green or blue or purple, then those are all options that are available to me. As always, thanks for coming out. And if you found this tutorial at all helpful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, and have yourself a great old day.